Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jogwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be looking at this amazing face control board uh, picker and this is for the MetaHuman. So if you've worked with MetaHumans, you've experienced having to try to select the control rig, you know, uh, multiple times and one of the things that you have to deal with is trying to pick those little controls everywhere and it's kind of difficult. So what they've done with, uh, is that they've provided an interface where you can actually select the different parts of the interface here and then use your keyboard to be able to navigate. Like for example, if I need to turn the eyes around, I can just use that the keyboard to go left and right and then you can key that and animate it, right? So that's the beauty of this. And uh, this is available on uh, Gumroad. Uh, the team is called uh, Local Drum. A friend of mine actually I met in the animation fellowship, the Epic Games Animation Fellowship. He's put in time to do this. So if you want to get it, just uh, go to this link. I'm going to put it in the description of this video. And then you just put in, if you want to donate, you can put a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever. If this makes a difference in your life, please consider donating something. Just put a fair price. But if you don't, if you can't afford it, just put zero and you'll still be able to get it. And when you get it, You'll be able to download the picker, face picker version 1.1. If you're recording, uh, watching this in the future, it may be that you have a newer version of it. But they have both for Unreal Engine 5.4, which is this one, and then Unreal Engine 5.3. All right, download it, and when you download it, then you wanna copy, uh, unzip the folder, and put it, put the local drum folder in your projects folder. This is my project right here. Put it into the content folder. So if this is your project, browse to your content folder and then copy and paste the local drone folder in here. If you open it, you see that it has the picker inside. Okay. And then make sure when you're in your project, uh, you go to settings over here, go to plugins, and then check to see, type in common. UI plugin, make sure this U, common UI plugin is enabled. If it's not enabled, make sure you enable that. Restart your project and save your project and then start, uh, you'll be able to use this, okay? So once you've downloaded it, copied it to your folder, uh, you'll be able to find it. Like I'm just gonna go to one of these content folders over here. So there's a local drone folder, there's the picker. And then really what you have to do is just right click on it and then go to run editor utility widget, right? And it's gonna, initially it will come out uh, probably floating, right? Something like this, right? And then you can dock it anywhere on your interface. So for me, I'm gonna, let's see, dock it, like maybe to the right here. And then I can minimize that or I scale that. And I have to the layout set to two panels so I can go in and out. Let's first go back to, so there's the, the control rig right here, right? And then I also have this one. So now I can, I don't even have to be looking at it to know which part because the, if you mouse over, you can see the names of the different con parts of the control rig. But let me also do this real quick so we can maximize this and then it's, focusing on the face right here. All right, so again, the idea is for you to just select one of these, like again, if you want the eyes to blink, you can control shift, right? And then use your S key, the, it's the WASD navigation. So just go up and down and then left and right. And you can make the character look at you. So this applies to every part of uh, like, the, the, you can select the nose by itself. You can select the eyes. So if I do all the eyes, then it's gonna move everything, <laughs> but we, which you might not want. And then you can also reset it right over here. You can do the whole mouth, right? You can do the jaw, you can do the neck, and then you have other lip tweakers over here. So. This makes it much easier to control the character and also animate them. And so the way I actually did this, so here's the thing. Let me close this sequence right here. And let's refresh. 
So it's going to look like this. When you first install it and run the picker, it's going to look like this. And then make sure you go to create a, sorry, let's go and create a level sequence. I'm just going to put it in my sequence folder over here. And let's see, let's put it in, let's just create a new folder. And just call it picker. Double click on that. Save. Uh, let's call it picker. Give it another name. Okay. So now that we have the sequencer here loaded, select the character, go to your outliner over here, and you can also just move, scale this a little bit so you can see it. Go to your outliner, find your character, drag and drop them in the sequence over there. And then you can go ahead and scale this back. And we can even scale this so you can see more of it. So it's not here yet. You need to refresh one more time. So the next time you drop down, it will be there and then click on that to select it. Now you'll be able to click on any of these and be able to move them up. So this is crucial. You have to make sure that you select the actor whose uh, rig that you want to animate using this uh, control picker. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I hope this makes a difference in your animation of the meta humans. So after you bake the control, your animation to the control rig, and then you want to like further enhance it or fix it or improve on it, then this board comes handy because then you can start selecting each part of the face and be able to move it around. So it's awesome. <laughs> and I highly, highly recommend. Again, the way to get it, just go to the link in the description of this video to localdrum.gumroad and the uh, MetaHuman Face Control Rig Picker. Uh, go ahead and put in an amount to zero, click you want it, enter your email address, and then you'll be able to download it over there right? And then you'll be able to have fun with it. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this uh, quick tip was going to be make a difference in your animation life with the meta humans. Thank you again for each and every one of you that has made uh, a, a, like a contribution through the Patreon program. Those who have subscribed, every single subscriber, I truly, truly appreciate. Thank you for supporting me, helping me to get to over 345,000 subscribers. Thank you again to the local drone team this amazing amazing plugin uh, this amazing tool that you can use to move the control board of the meta human uh, see you next time as always dare to dream big do not give up on your dream guys bye for now <laughs>